Today we're going to install the Bedrug Impact Bedliner on this 2019 New Body Style 1500 Ram. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first thing I did is I rolled this out. This has been rolled up inside of a box. Uh, it didn't want to stay flat, so I rolled it out, let it stay flat, uh, put some weights on it. Once it relaxed, now I've got it put in place. Next, what we're going to do is zip the sidewalls and bulkhead piece to the floor portion. Um, if you fold this back, you're going to see a big industrial grade zipper. Um, and then you've got a zipper piece on the uh, bottom of the, the sidewall as well. We're just going to put that in together. And then we'll zip it up. So as a quick tip to get everything to cooperate with you, what you want to do is make sure that the two pieces of zipper are nice and close together when you pull the zipper down. So you're going to have to do little sections at a time. All right, now when you get to the very end, you'll see that the zipper is doubled over and stitched. That's just to keep the zipper from unraveling. You don't need to rotate the zipper back around. It's kind of impossible to do that. Right here, you're done. Next, what we do is pick up the bed rug and just set it right into the bed of the truck. Okay, now I've got the liner all the way up to the front of the bed. Uh, I've got everything centered, made sure it's not cockeyed at all. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull the sidewall back. Um, once I get the sidewall pulled back, uh, you'll see we've got a piece of Velcro that's stitched into the bottom uh, of the liner. I'm going to take one of my long red backed uh, Velcro strips. I'm just going to attach it to that Velcro. Next, I'm going to see where that is going to touch on the floor of the bed. It's going to go right along here. So what I want to do is I'm going to take some isopropyl alcohol and wipe that down real good to remove any kind of residue uh, from that surface to give a good surface to bond to. Now I'm using my weight uh, on top of the liner to keep it from shifting around. I'm going to go ahead and release the adhesive protector. Now this is 3M tape. We're just going to drop it right down in place and then apply pressure to get good adhesion. Right now I'm going to go ahead and pull back the bulkhead uh, piece. I'm going to go now to my uh, two inch strips of Velcro. I'm going to tear those off one piece at a time and I'm going to start lining them up on the Velcro on the back side of the bed rug. Um, I'm going to make sure it's lined up to places on the bed rug where it's going to get good adhesion up against uh, the bulkhead start at the bottom and I work my way up to the top. Next row up.
So now in your instructions, it's going to give you also a continuous piece of Velcro that goes along uh, the very top edge of the stitched in piece on the back of the bulk, uh, the bulkhead piece. Um, and that, what that does, that gives you a continuous look where you don't have any gaps uh, in between your two inch pieces. Um, now, I'm also going to be putting a cover on the bed of this truck so you're never going to see this up at the very top. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reserve this for the tailgate end where the tailgate pillar is uh, to get that continuous look there. But you do whatever you like on your truck. All right, now before we release any of the adhesive protectors on these Velcros, we're going to go ahead and wipe down the surface of the paint where that's going to be connecting. So we're going to wipe that down with alcohol in each one of those locations uh, before we stick them to it. Now we can go ahead and pull our Velcro adhesive protectors off of the strips. I like to start at the bottom and work my way up. Now before I just push it up into place, I'm also going to make sure that it, the bulkhead piece is pulled all the way down to the bottom in the corners. Uh, that aligns it properly so it doesn't uh, get misaligned up at the top as we go. Each one of the pieces we want to get behind it and give some pressure to it to get a good bond. I'm setting my next row of Velcro. Again, make sure that you're set at the bottom and then let it rotate up into place. Finally, for our top level. All right, now before I attach the sidewall, what I like to do is I like to get it kind of dry fit into place first. Um, now, in the ram, you're going to have a tie down cleat in the front and in the back that we need to actually cut an access hole so that tie down cleat can come through. So, what I want to do is I want to make sure that this is where it's going to be. Then I'll feel where the bottom of that tie down cleat is coming through, and I'm going to make a hole in the bed rug with a utility knife. Then I'm going to go ahead and take that same utility knife and make a little slice straight up so the tie down ring uh, can poke through.
I'm going to cut out the other tie down the exact same way and then I'm going to go ahead and start attaching the Velcro. Right, now I'm going to go ahead and pull that sidewall back down. Again, I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up. I'm going to start attaching some Velcros using the two inch Velcros at this point. Now, if, if our truck is outfitted with the cargo management rail from the factory, we we'll want to unbolt that, cut around that, and then install uh, the bed rug, put that back into place. Uh, we don't have that, so we're just going to go forward. And again, just like with the bulkhead, we're going to go ahead and wipe down the surface of the paint where the Velcro is going to be sticking to before we attach it. adhesive protector away from the Velcro, start in the bottom, work your way up. Now again, just like in the front, before you just set it in place, make sure that it's down and not getting pulled up while you're attaching the Velcros. All right, now here for the tailgate pillar, um, they're going to give you these right here, the two inch pieces uh, to use for the tailgate pillar, but I really prefer the finish that the continuous piece gives you, so that's what I'm going to use here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach that to the Velcro and then trim that into place. this other half that I can use for the other side. And just like all the other areas of the install where we are attaching adhesive, we want to wipe down the surface with rubbing alcohol before we attach it.
again, make sure you use plenty of pressure to get good adhesion on that Velcro. Now repeat the entire process on the opposite side. Okay, so now at this point what we've got is uh, we've got a supplementary piece to install to the tailgate panel. What we would do is loosen up all of these uh, bolts, uh, remove that tailgate panel. This piece would actually snap on to the end of the tailgate panel and then uh, we make sure it's lined up properly and then bolt it back down. Um, then we would take, use our adhesive promoter uh, and apply it to uh, this piece right here. And then we would take and apply our Velcro uh, to that piece all the way across. And now that liner material will stick to that Velcro. However, that is the preferred uh, install only if you've got no bed cover or a bed cover that sits on top of your bed caps. If you have a bed cover that goes inside the bed caps, it may actually hit this on the rails whenever you open and close the tailgate. So what we're going to do is for this install, we're going to delete this part and go directly to applying the Velcro on the tailgate itself. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to attach our Velcro to the top edge of the tailgate. Uh, now that's going to be attached partially to uh, the bed cap and partially to uh, this access panel. I like to use the top edge of my access panel to line up the Velcro with. Uh, that'll be the top edge of the Velcro, and that'll go all the way over to the edge of the tailgate. Before I do that, I'm going to have to use a little bit of adhesive promoter on the plastic so the Velcro will stick to the plastic. Do not use any adhesive promoter on the painted surface. Before I do any of that, though, I'm going to wipe it all down with rubbing alcohol. All right, next I'm going to take my adhesive promoter and go ahead and tear that open. I'm going to expose that sponge that has a promoter material on it. And I'm going to apply that to the plastic on the bed cap. Do that on both sides. Now we're going to go ahead and attach our Velcro material. Again, I like to use the top edge of this to line up my Velcro. So I'm going to go ahead and pull away a little bit of the adhesive protector from my Velcro. You want to be careful not to actually touch the adhesive with your fingers because that will weaken your adhesive. Get lined up. and set it down into place. bear down, run that all in place, make sure we have good adhesion. Right. Next I'm going to go ahead and attach some of my two inch uh, Velcro strips to the bottom edge of the stitched in Velcro on the bottom of uh, our liner material. And now I'm going to go ahead and wipe down this surface uh, with rubbing alcohol as well. This is where uh, this Velcro is going to be attaching. I just want to make sure that I get good adhesion. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and take my liner, pull it forward, make sure I'm lined up to where the Velcro is. Now I'm going to go ahead and drop it onto my Velcro strip at the top of the tailgate. This aligns my liner, and next I can pull back, remove the adhesive protector on each corner. Now I can go ahead and pull the liner off of the Velcro. Rotate it up and pull off the adhesive protectors here. Go ahead and drop it back down. Well, that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.